Mexican hot chocolate elixir and there's some powerful ingredients inside. Hi, my name is Amanda. I'm a registered dietitian and founder of Wellness Simplified, a food-centric nutrition coaching practice that educates, encourages, and empowers individuals to prioritize their health and well-being starting in the kitchen. Each year, thousands of dietitians across the country collaborate with one goal in mind, to increase public awareness on the importance of healthy eating. This year, the theme of Nutrition Month is Take the Fight Out of Food. Eating should be pleasurable and not a source of frustration or confusion, and it definitely shouldn't be complicated. Let's face it though, the reality is it can be overwhelming, especially when there's so much information pouring in from social media outlets, news reports, daytime television, advice from friends and families. So how do you go about discerning the facts from the facts. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through a three-step process that you can take the next time you are faced with a food fight. The first step is you wanna spot the problem. Number two, you wanna get the facts. And number three, you wanna seek support. So let's just go through an example of how you would use these three steps. Have you heard of Chega? the king of medicinal mushrooms that possesses powerful anti-cancer and anti-tumor properties. Or what about maca? It's known as a natural stimulant and aphrodisiac. And then we have this humble root, also known as turmeric, that can stain like no other and has powerful anti-inflammatory properties. Now it's time to look at the science behind these three ingredients and get the facts. Chega mushroom is a brownish fungus that grows on birch trees. It is often referred to as the king of medicinal mushrooms and has a cork-like texture, no smell, and a very mild taste. There are several Canadian distributors of Chega mushroom and they can be purchased as a dehydrated chunk like so, dried powder, and an extract form. All of the studies to date have been conducted in animals and not humans. With that being said, the results have been very promising with respect to inhibiting tumor growth and bowel cancer, the treatment of inflammatory bowel diseases, and blood sugar level control. Maca is a root grown high in the Andes Mountains in Peru. Traditionally, it has been boiled and drank as tea. However, in Canada, the most readily available forms of maca is in capsule, extract, and powdered forms like this. There are gelatinized versions that have been sold and claimed to be more digestible, but there is no scientific research that has confirmed that. There is compelling research that supports maca and its ability to increase libido upon ingestion for both males and females. There has also been promising research showing that maca may reduce depression and anxiety in postmenopausal women, but there is weak evidence in maca helping with blood sugar level control, exercise performance, and blood pressure control. Keep in mind, however, most of the studies conducted to date have had very small sample sizes and involved mostly animal studies. Turmeric is a knobby root plant that resembles the look of fresh ginger. It has been used in Eastern medicine for centuries. The active ingredient is called curcumin and there is mounting evidence supporting curcumin's role in inhibiting the inflammatory process and thus reduce chronic diseases including obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and Alzheimer's disease. Turmeric can be readily purchased in its whole and dried ground forms in most supermarkets and spice shops. The curcumin content of curry blends varies considerably with the highest amounts found in pure turmeric powders. The University of Maryland Medical Center suggests a daily dose of half a teaspoon to one and a half teaspoons daily. However, there is no optimal dose for medicinal use that has been established by the medical community. Bottom line, chaga, maca, and turmeric are safe to consume, however recommended dosage have not yet been established. Today, I want to share with you a recipe for Mexican hot chocolate elixir that combines all three ingredients. Now, I really like this recipe and the ingredients that I've chosen because the flavors really complement one another. To make this Mexican hot chocolate elixir, we will need one chunk of chaga mushroom, a piece of Ceylon cinnamon, pitted dates, coconut milk, cocoa powder, turmeric powder, maca powder, and a little bit of black pepper. Mm. 
Once it's reached a boil, remove from heat and let it rest for 10 minutes. So remember, eating should be pleasurable and not a source of confusion or frustration. The next time you are caught in a food fight, take these three steps. Spot the problem, get the facts, and seek support. Until next time, relish every bite.